I think it was my duty to um, bring this um, body together and ready to seek for unity. And that was the um, basis of the meeting tonight. Um, I've been given instructions to, um, well, by the body there, um, to lead the process of reconciliation, um, to stop the public utterances, and indeed to consolidate our support and our strength as a party. And I think that is my, my duty. I, of course, um, I was aware for some time, but I think it's absolutely necessary now for me to get involved and to really seek for party unity. Who, um, were, who were the members of the meeting here tonight? Um, well, we had, we had, of course, the executive um, members who were elected um, into certain offices. Um, we had some long-standing members of the party. And I think that the, 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 the public is looking for a unified democratic Labour party. And I think, um, I believe I can bring this party together. And I have tremendous respect um, for um, the leader of the opposition. I have tremendous respect for the um, suspended president. And indeed, we have some very outstanding individuals in the party. And I feel that um, once we unify our party, for the sake of the country and for the sake of democracy that um, we will be a force to be reckoned with. So Mr. Lashley, you've had this play out in the public sphere. We'll be asking for th that. That's another thing that, of course, we want all this, this public um, outcry and public utterances. We would like that to stop and deal with matters internally. And that is what I'm mandated to do. We want to bring some sort of um, let me say, um, correct to what has happened at Dora Street, and I will reach out to those members who have obviously who have um, issues and problems, and seek to have meetings with them and, and meet them come together as a party. That's with, all I have to say. With, with the members of the public looking in, though, what message would you have for them? Because there are those who have basically said they're getting tired. Now, the message I, I would say to them that um, have faith in the Democratic Labour Party, have faith in this process. Um, I believe that members want to see a unified Democratic Labour Party, and that is what we're doing. We are not coming out here tonight for any wrangling. We are not seeking to put any... Um, conditions on anybody, we just want unity and to have a dialogue and have discussions. That's all basically. Any chance that the suspensions will be lifted? I, I can't get into that at this moment. But indeed, um, what we are seeking to do is to present to the public a unified democratic Party. Okay. Basic question? The, right. Sorry. Mm. right. Um, the other side has been questioning the, the legality of today's meeting. What's also about that? Well, you know, if we are speaking about issues of legality, everyone will have a legal opinion on, on, on whether it is legal or whether it is illegal. The courts will have to make a decision on that. I might have an opinion on it, the other person might have an opinion on it, but I want to get from around that, I really get to the, to the gravamen, I really get to let us let us move forward. Let us go in the constituencies canvas. Let us select candidates. Let us get out there in the fee. Let us bring alternative programs. Let us start developing a manifesto. Let us work with one another. I mean that is the issue. I, I think what, what we're trying to, to get at is you call it, is it a, a legal meeting or a was it a meeting to a This is a meeting this 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 is, is a meeting to discuss where far for this party. And not an executive meeting us. And, and, and to seek to, to, to bring about some normalcy and seek to settle grievances, a process of settling grievances. And that is it.